Why wait for special occasion when every money we get is a gift? Think about how often we save the best for others. The finest china, the glasses, outfits for someday. Or we even reserve it when company comes over. But today, I'm here to tell you that you are the special occasion. Hello, my dear classy lady. Welcome back to Afternoon Tea with Elisa. Today, we are redefining what it means to dress up and why every day at home deserves its own sparkle. Let's make every day a reason to celebrate ourselves. God is giving you life. God is giving you one more day. Make every day that you have a special day for you. If you're interested to know how, grab your tea already you know. Your coffee in this case, it is so hot outside. Your iced tea and iced coffee, you name it. Come join me. Firstly, let's talk about the psychology for dressing well. Dressing beautifully every single day, even when you're at home, isn't just about a appearances, but it's also how it makes you feel. Have you noticed that when you wake up and you stay in bed with your pajamas, you don't go to shower, you don't do skincare, you don't do your hair, you will tend to feel more down, depressed, lazy. All those negative feelings and effects or and emotions comes to you easily when you're in this position. But you notice that even when you have problems, when you have stress, you have something going not so well in your life. But when you wake up and you take a shower, you do a good skincare, you put a nice outfit, you do your hair, you already feel in a more positive way. And you already feel like you want to do a work, do something, be positive, be energized. This is the power of putting on a good outfit or taking care of yourself, dressing up in general in the morning. Every time you do that, it automatically makes you for more productivity and also makes your mind in a more happy and awakened way. You feel more positive about yourself when you look good. Immediately, you feel good. Can you imagine what does it comes to your mind when you see a beautiful gown, for example? If you see a beautiful gown, it comes to your mind going to a ball or wedding or something like that. So this is the psychology between the outfits that you wear. Every time you put on a nice outfit, it automatically changes your character. It changes you who are wearing it. You feel already automatically in this character of what you have dressed for, right? So when I'm in my pajama, automatically I feel more lazy, like I just don't want to do anything other than stay in bed and so on. That's why we don't go to work with pajamas because it's just not productive. When we take the time to put on a nice blouse or a nice dress, it is not just vanity. It's a respect for ourselves and the day we've been given by God. You are here for a purpose, for a reason. You woke up, you have one more day. This is all you have today. So make the most of it. Most of the time, we're just thinking and waiting for the special occasion to wear this dress, the special occasion to do this hair. What if you don't have the special occasion? You need to make a special occasion. You need to celebrate each day as it comes. So now that we know, when you put a gym wear, you feel active. You want to do exercise. So when you put a nice gown, you want to go to party. When you put a nice suit, you feel like empowered to go to meetings and things like that. So there is a psychology between or behind what we wear. Tips for everyday elegance. Creating a wardrobe that is both comfortable and beautiful doesn't have to be expensive or overwhelming. It's about choosing pieces that makes you feel good and also that works for your lifestyle. Let's say, for example, you are a mom. So the outfits that you need to have in your wardrobe or the ones that suits your kind of lifestyle. If you don't know, we have a series in this channel where we talk about rich mom style and so on. So in 
in this Rich Mom style, we talk about the items that you need for this style, which is focused on a mom style. For example, moms need to go to play dates, sometimes take the kids to school. Also, if you have your own work, you go to work, you go to cocktail with friends or, or brunch with friends. So you need to have outfits that or, or pieces that they work for your everyday life. To be honest, how many times in a week or even in a month or year you go to a party? Maybe if you're a mom like myself or you're working women, maybe you don't go many times. But in order for you to have assertive outfits for each occasion all the time, what I do myself, I can just tell you from my own experience, I stop having outfits to stay at home and outfits to go out. Unless or evening gown. Of course, I'm not going to stay at home with evening gown. Other than that, I don't have it. Why? Because, for example, where I live, also I'm a mom. I'm a working mom, but also where I live, I live in an area that is very, how can I say? I have a seafront kind of area. So there are restaurants outside, there are tourists sometimes that comes here to see the area and so on. So I always have to meet people, all kinds of people here, and mostly people here who are like well-dressed and so on. So I need to have outfits to appropriate for where I live. I'm at home, but I don't just want to be confided at home all the time. I go out, I go for walk, I go for this and that. I need to, even when I'm dressed up to be at home, choose outfits that they are appropriated. If I just need to go out, I just put one nice shoes depending on where I go. If I need to change like the jewelry or the accessories and I go out. So that's why it's important to not to have so much clothes to stay at home because when you have clothes to stay at home, if you're receiving a guest, you need to run and, and dress something more appropriate. Or if a friend calls you or your husband calls you to let's go for a lunch downstairs, for example, where I live, we have restaurants downstairs. Let's go for lunch downstairs. Then I have to dress and do makeup and do this and that. By the time I'm done, maybe people are not interested to go out with me anymore. So that's why I strongly think and feel for me and for you, it's important to stop having clothes to stay at home and clothes to go out. Have clothes that they are effortlessly chic. And I'm going to tell you exactly which ones work for me and I hope it works for you too. And I'm going to try to make a good selection of clothes that works for different kind of people or different lifestyles even if I cannot fit all in this video but I'm gonna try as much in this video and I can make another one however it's just to tell you that one thing you need to stop doing for yourself is wearing for example gym wear active wear in a house and then because you're gonna end up going out with this outfit of course you can wear active or gym wear if you're doing exercises at home if you're doing the house chores for example you can do it with your gym way but when you're done you take a shower do your skincare do your makeup if you do makeup and put some nice clothes on it's important because also it's going to make you feel good about yourself because we deserve also respect and to take care of ourselves our own appearance for us and for the ones around us not just for people outside or to take pictures or for social media because our life has to first feel good for us and then is going to be showing out for others as well and it's not just about your clothes. Also, add some simple jewelries, your everyday jewelries. You also put a double, a nice perfume, a scarf, your hair. You need to have your hair done because even if you put a nice outfit, if your hair is not properly done, 
it's just going to be looking dysfunctional. Use a hairstyle that is simple to replicate every single day, especially if you're a mom, just something that you can easily replicate and that looks decent and very good on you. If you don't like to wear makeup, do a good skincare, have a clear and clean skin, it's good enough. But if you like to do makeup, you can do an easy and simple summer makeup. It's going to make you glowy and well put together. These small touches can make even the most ordinary day feel like a celebration. Let's talk about the environment where we are in influences how we feel as much as what we wear. So let's make our living spaces as beautiful, clean and tidy as our attires. It could be fresh flowers, ambient lightning or elegant table settings for your everyday meal. Make every day feel more than ordinary. You have to make it in a special occasion every single day. Don't wait for a special day to set up this beautiful table to cook this amazing meal. Give these pleasures to yourself and to your family every single day. The environment where we are is so important as how it looks as well as how it feels. Most of the time we give our best outside to everybody. We look our best, we smell our best, we talk our best, we respect our best outside and in our homes where there are the people who we say we appreciate and we love them the most they just get the worst of us we come home with the leftovers we come home upset angry we, we just don't care you put your head somehow you put the worst clothes for your family that you say they are your loved ones they see you on your worst behavior every single day of course it is okay because we have to be comfortable with the people we love i understand you until they However, you can also be comfortable with them and give them also for them to have an experience of how they mother, their sister, their wife, how you are this elegant woman have to also be inside your home. Your family have to be able to experience this best side of you too, not just the people on outside. You have to give it to yourself, to your loved ones, and then it's going to just become a routine. Everything you're going to be doing on the outside side is going to be an extension of who you are and how you are act and look like in your home and when you give this to your family imagine your daughters and sons they're looking at you most likely they'll be able to replicate the same elegant essence celebrating the ordinary tonight why not dine in style dress up light up some candles play some classic music and turn your dinner into a delightful events. It's about making the most of our moments. If there is something I like, it's this. Because I know for a fact for myself, my family is like a, was, has always been my dream. It's always been on my plans. I always wanted to have this big family. I always wanted to have my table full and so on. For me, it is a pleasure to do those things, to cook a nice meal, to set a beautiful table. It's a pleasure that you have to be able to give to yourself and to your loved ones and even if you live alone give this to yourself treat yourself the way you wish someone else to treat you even when you're at home you don't just need to go to a restaurant to have this beautiful experience you can also give to yourself you see how it will make you feel it's going to make you feel like you're special you're important you're making something good for you i need to make the most of it and most of all i need to not just how can i say let it perish like spend the life laying in the couch with your pajamas changing tunnels doing nothing that edifies you that glorifies god you just waste your day waste your life no your life is not to be wasted your life is to be lived according to god's word and also to be a motivation for others you're here to live and then to serve so how can you serve if you have nothing to give you have something to give when you had the time to pour in your 
yourself, but then you have something to give. I hope I'm making sense. Remember, elegance is a mindset. It's not just the way we dress most, it is also the way we dress, but the mindset is how we set and create everything around us. Regardless of what the calendar says, every day is an opportunity to live beautifully and treat ourselves with kindness and grace. So brew yourself a lovely cup of tea or because the sun is hot and shiny outside, you can make yourself a lovely mocktail, iced tea, iced coffee, smoothie, you name it. Put on something that makes you feel great and smile and toast to today, your very special occasion. And remember, one thing that many ladies can say, oh, but I like to wear hoodies and loungewear to stay at home. The beautiful loungewear actually that you can wear however, look at the outfits you're wearing every single day is you're not just static at your home. You're not stuck glued in a house. You can go out at any minute for whatever reason. So it's important to wear something that you can also step out of a house and you're well put together. For more inspiration on living elegantly every day, don't forget to subscribe and join us for more episodes. Of course, ring the bell button so you're going to be notified every time I upload a new video. Don't forget to like and share with the family or friend that you can help.